Planet Alpha is a side-scroller developed by Planet Alpha APS and published by Team 17. It was released on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC. You start as an injured spaceman on a strange planet. You seem to be part of an exploration group that may have crashed there as you find bodies of others wearing similar clothing to yourself. There are also invading robots destroying anything organic, including you. As most of the planet's creatures are passive towards you, there seems to be a symbiotic partnership within the untold story, as you're both trying to stop the robot invaders. There's no storytelling, text, or dialogue, so you're left to build a story in your mind why your character is there, and why all of this is happening. Exploration mostly consists of moving left to right. There are no weapons and no combat. You must sneak past and hide from the robots, lure them into danger, or use the environment against them. The puzzle solving is sometimes an issue, and at times, straight up, not fun. It's got a bunch of trial and error sequences that are sure to piss you off, whether it's trying to reach a new area or trying to get past an enemy. Enter an area, die. Read the patterns, die. Make it a little further, die. Get lucky, pass. When I did figure out a puzzle, sometimes I felt satisfaction, accomplishment, and progression, while other times, I felt relieved and just downright lucky. The screen will look jumbled at times, and you need to learn to notice everything. Sometimes it's difficult to see where to jump. The game is so colorful and vibrant, even the bright golden ledges sometimes blend in. Most of the time I got the hang of it. Other times, frustration ensued, with that trial and error cycle kicking in, causing inconsistent difficulties. On the plus side, the checkpoints are very generous. It never sends you back to the beginning of any area, unless that's where your character died. You always recover near your mishap. You have control over the passage and reversal of time, switching from day to night, sprouting large plants in the daylight and shrinking them at nighttime, or sometimes sprouting nighttime plants. Standing on certain spots moves items while manipulating time to solve puzzles. There are also special stages where you're almost weightless. Returning to the planet's normal gravity after these stages was always disorienting for a few seconds. The visuals are great. As mentioned before, very bright and colorful. But that's just the planet's surface. You eventually venture deep under the planet's surface, experiencing dark mechanical and creature caverns up into the clouds and beyond, showcasing obvious, pointy, polygonal, geometric shapes to buttery smooth plant life and creatures. I thought I would get this game finished in a couple of sittings, but this thing just goes on and on. I'm not one to complain about getting more game for your buck, but it goes on a bit longer than it has to. There's a decent portion that's just running with nothing happening, perhaps to soak up the scenery, it feels way longer than I thought it was going to be, or needs to be. There is a bonus. Planet Alpha is a fully finished, fully functioning product with no updates, downloadable content, or microtransactions. I know, amazing, right? That alone makes it worth the price of admission. Seriously though, it does have its issues, but it's a solid experience. 7.5 out of 10.